IRIS radio system is the world's first fully integrated digital tactical command control and communication system. One of the IRIS radios Canadian soldiers use is the radio set ANPRC 521. The ANPRC 521 is a handheld battery operated VHF FM radio that provides tactical voice and data communications between 30 and 88 megahertz. It has 14 channels, each capable of single or dual frequency operation, which means it can transmit on one frequency and receive on another. The transmitter operates with nominal ranges of 500 meters at low power and 3 kilometers at high power. The 521 has a number of important operating features. Its transmission time can be pre-programmed. It can be operated in whisper mode for quiet operation. It can be operated in secure and non-secure or clear mode. It can duplicate its own operating information into another radio. This is called cloning. It is equipped with an embedded crypto card and carries the controlled cryptographic item or CCI label. It can receive a change to the crypto keys by over-the-air rekeying or OTAR. The components of the 521 are the transceiver, the battery, the short antenna, the long blade antenna, the headset microphone, and the carrying harness. The transceiver has a number of controls, connectors, and indicators. On top, you'll see an amber and green LED, a combined volume and on-off switch, a numbered 14-channel switch, a mode switch with letter markings, the clear and zero-wise mechanical lock, a high-low power switch, an audio connector, an antenna connector. On the side, you'll find a press-to-talk or PTT switch for crypto loading and cloning, a squelch override switch, the battery release, a CCI label, and a side connector for crypto key loading and cloning. Protective dust covers are provided for connectors and the LEDs. The radio is powered by either a rechargeable nickel-cadmium battery or a non-rechargeable lithium battery. This is the short antenna. Longer range communications require the long blade antenna with an antenna matching unit or AMU and a gooseneck. This antenna is not designed to be dismantled. The headset microphone can be worn on the right or left ear under a helmet. It has a press to talk or PTT switch on the cable. The carrying harness has compartments for the transceiver, a spare battery, and antennas. There are also tightening straps, cover flaps, and a removable shoulder strap and waist belt. Before assembling the radio, examine all the components, connectors, plugs, and switches for loose screws, damage, bent pins, dirt, and wear and tear. Refer to the radio set ANPRC 521 operations instructions for detailed preventative operator maintenance. To assemble the radio, attach the battery by matching the center stud on the battery to the contact on the transceiver body and turning it clockwise until it snaps into place with a distinct click. Now, slide the transceiver and battery into the carrying harness with the control switches facing outwards. Connect the headset microphone by correctly aligning the plug in the audio connector and secure by rotating the outside ring one quarter turn clockwise. To attach either antenna, grasp it by the base and turn clockwise until snug. Using any other part of the antenna could break its internal connections. Check that the Velcro cover fits firmly over the control switches. Put the spare battery connector first on top of the battery release flap. Press it in place 
and snap the cover flap over the battery. If you are stowing the blade antenna, loosely fold it. Do not crease, twist, or crimp the blade. Put the unused antenna in the side compartment and secure with the strap. Non-secure operation of the 521 involves three activities. The personality and frequency fill, which can be done by the interface unit or by cloning one radio to another. The power-up test and transmitting and receiving non-secure voice messages. To operate, the radio must have a personality and frequency fill. This sets channel frequencies, squelch levels, transmitter timeout, and the radio's cloning ability. There are two ways to fill the radio with personality and frequencies. One is with a data terminal loaded with the fill, which is passed to the radio through an interface unit. The second method is by cloning from one radio to another. Cloning is the act of copying the personality and frequency field from one radio to another. You will need a cloning cable, which has distinctive white bands. Attach the rectangular connector to the side connector of the originating radio. Ensure the plug locator pin is at the bottom. Tighten the center locking screw until snug. Connect the other end of the cable to the audio connector of the radio to be cloned. Set the volume switches on both radios to 1 and the mode switches to clear. The green LED on the originating radio will light. To start cloning, press and release the side PTT switch on the originating radio. During cloning, the green LED on the originating radio flashes and then stays lit when cloning is completed. Switch off both radios and disconnect the cable. To confirm that the fill or cloning is complete, reconnect the headset microphone and communicate between the two radios. A power-up test must be performed to confirm the radio is functional. Set the channel switch to an assigned channel the mode switch to clear or CLR and set the power switch to low then turn the volume switch on the amber and green LEDs will flash once any other light indicators or sound in the headset means the radio has a fault if the power up is successful press the squelch override switch and listen for continuous background noise in the headset Turn the volume switch through positions 1 to 6 to check that the background noise increases. Now, select a volume setting and press the squelch override switch to ensure the background noise ceases. To confirm your radio is operating, Zero, this is one radio communicate checkover. with another radio using the headset microphone PTT oh, switch. Right, right. For non-secure operation, set the volume switch to a comfortable level Press the clear zero eyes lock and set the mode switch to clear. Select high or low power as directed. The radio is ready. To transmit non-secure voice messages, zero, this is one, one. press the Vehicle PTT switch no. on the headset microphone cable. When the radio is transmitting in non-secure mode, the green LED is lit continuously. The amber LED flashes and a slow pip sounds in the headset microphone. When receiving a non-secure voice message, the amber LED flashes and a slow pip sounds in the headset microphone. For secure use, crypto keys are entered into the 521 from a data transfer device. If the radio has no crypto fill, the crypto alarm, a continuous beep, will sound in the headset when you press the PTT switch in modes B, C, or D. The alarm will always sound in mode A, as it is only used for OTAR. To shut off the alarm, press the PTT switch again. The crypto fill is performed by connecting the crypto fill cable, which has distinctive red bands, to the data transfer device and the side connector of the radio. Before filling, a headset microphone and charged battery must be connected to the radio and the set must be switched on for at least 30 seconds so it will hold the fill. 
crypto keys are loaded into mode switch positions A, B, C, or D. Position A is only filled if OTAR will be required. Each mode must be initialized by pressing the side PTT switch. To operate in the secure mode, set the volume to a comfortable level. Select the required mode and channel. The radio can now receive and transmit secure voice messages. Test the radio in secure mode by communicating with another radio having the same settings. To transmit secure voice messages, press the headset microphone PTT switch and speak into the microphone. When transmitting, the green LED is lit continuously. When receiving secure voice messages, there are no visible or audible indicators. Crypto keys in the radio can be remotely rekeyed by OTAR or over-the-air rekeying. OTAR overwrites existing keys in positions B, C, or D. OTAR will only function if mode position A was loaded. Establish communications with the OTAR sending unit on the mode containing the key to be overwritten and follow instructions from the sender. One, this is two, radio check over. One, loud and clear over. Two, Roger, prepare for OTAR now, out. The only way you will know OTAR has been conducted is when you hear a brief break in the squelch. Initialize the new key by pressing and releasing the side PTT switch. Then, confirm the replacement key is operating by communicating with another radio on the same settings. One loud and clear out. A radio operating in a secure mode will also receive transmissions from radios operating in the clear or non-secure mode. As always, when receiving a non-secure message, the amber LED flashes and the slow pip will sound. In order to reply, the operator of the secure radio must switch to the non-secure mode. 521 radios operating in the non-secure mode cannot receive messages transmitted from radios operating in secure mode. All the non-secure operator might hear is a sound like a break in the squelch. Two features common to secure and non-secure use of the 521 are the transmitter timeout and the whisper mode. Transmitter timeout means the radio can be set to limit the length of transmissions to 30, 60, 90, or 120 seconds. You will hear a fast pip during the last five seconds before the radio terminates transmission. Release the PTT switch and press again to start a new transmission. Whisper mode boosts the microphone sensitivity so a whispered transmission can be received at normal volume. One, one, Roger. The 521 has two distinct sets of warnings and alarms. The green LED will flash and a two-tone alarm will sound if a major error occurs during operation of the radio. The radio has four low battery warnings. If you hear a medium pip in the headset and the green LED flashes slowly, the battery is low and should be changed. This is your first warning. If you hear a continuous warning tone in the headset and the green LED is lit continuously, the battery is seriously depleted. You will not be able to transmit or receive any voice messages. The battery must be changed as soon as possible. This is your second warning. If the green LED remains lit and there is no continuous warning tone, the battery is nearly dead. This is your third warning. Change the battery. Finally, if the amber LED flashes, change the battery immediately or the crypto fill will be lost. This is your final warning. Whenever you change the battery, you must do it within 90 seconds or you will lose the crypto fill. The personality and frequency fill will not be erased. To zeroize the crypto keys, 
Set the volume switch to any position. Release the clear zero-wise mechanical lock. Select Mode Z and wait for at least five seconds. This will zero-wise all four modes at once. To confirm that all crypto keys have been zero-wised, turn the mode switch to each of positions A, B, C, and D, each time pressing the side PTT switch. Listen for the crypto alarm to confirm the keys have been removed. Disassemble the radio for storage in reverse order to assembly. If necessary, remove the personality and frequency fill using the interface unit. This is the radio set ANPRC 521, the smallest handheld battery operated VHF FM radio providing tactical voice and data communications for Canada's Army.